and today I have my 18th birthday get ready with me for you guys today is my 18th birthday I know I went a little extra but I'm extra so makes sense I filmed my get ready with me for my 17th birthday last year and I decided to do it again this year and I really hope you guys enjoy watching me get ready I attempted this look it was super out of my comfort zone I was really nervous to do it but I am so so happy with how it turned out so if you want to see how I achieved it keep on watching I also just want to thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes when you're seeing this my birthday is already over and it just means the absolute worst to me and seriously made my day so thank you all so much be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts also be sure to follow me on my social media accounts to see some more exclusive pictures and lastly be sure to subscribe if you are not already I post every Tuesday Thursday Saturday and Sunday for out of the weeks and it's a fun time around here so without further ado let's just get started okay so I probably filmed an intro but it's my 18th birthday today, December 23rd, 2016. Love this dress so much, but I decided to do a chit chat get ready with me. I did this last year for my 17th birthday and we are just going to get started. I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things, telling you what my plans are, um, how my 17th year of life was, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. So. First things first, we're actually going to switch it up a little today, the steps. I'm just going to put some rosebud salve on. So today I'm actually kind of nervous because I want to do like a black and silver smoky eye and it's so out of my comfort zone and I don't know how it's going to turn out. Let's hope for the best. So I'm going to do the eyes first just because I'm working with both glitter and dark colors and I'm actually going to do my eyebrows first. But before that, I just want to prep my skin. Today, I'm going to be trying out the MAC Strobe Cream, and this is in silver light, so it has a little bit of a silver tint, and we are going to be working with silver. So, ooh, I think I put a little bit too much, but... Oh well. This is a hydrating, luminous primer. Ooh, it definitely is very hydrating. It feels very nice on the skin. I'm just gonna put this all over. I did have school today, unfortunately. It wasn't that bad though, it's whatever. And so I had on my just natural school makeup and I came home and took it off and showered. So, ooh, we are definitely glowing today. My skin, of course, today of all days, is not at its best. So I really needed that moisture because the shower just sucks all the moisture out, let me tell you. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit to do my brows and start my eyes. Okay, so for brows, I'm going to go in with my Cabrow first. And we are just going to outline. Hands are really slippery right now after that strobe cream. But first of all, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys so much. It seriously, you guys make my birthday every single year. I stayed up till midnight and just automatically seeing all of your birthday wishes everywhere just meant so much to me. The fact that so many of you take the time out of your day to wish me happy birthday and make some cute collages and post pictures on Twitter and Instagram, it just warms my heart and it makes my birthday every year and I don't know where I would be without you guys. Seriously, you never fail to amaze me every single year. There's just more and more and I can't be more grateful and thankful. I'm not saying this for you to feel bad for me in any way, but I don't get the most support at school. But seriously, you guys slay. Like, I literally get hate on my birthday from those same people from the amount of love and support I get from you guys. So just thank you so much. Okay, so I'm gonna start by outlining my brows. I actually think I'm gonna turn the camera off real quick because these sleeves are pretty tight and I'm gonna need to bend down out of frame to do this. And basically, I'm just gonna be using my brow to outline, and then I'm gonna fill in using the Precisely My Brow pencil and set with Gimme Brow, and I'll be back. Okay, I honestly can't even remember the last time I did my eyes before my foundation, and putting on my brows um, before foundation and powder and concealer and everything, feels so weird. I definitely feel like I'm just gonna go back in later and touch them up so I didn't set them with Gimme Brow yet. I just feel so weird. 
and out of place. But what I am going to do is take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on a brush. Actually, I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and dip the brush in it. And we are going to carve out my brows and I'm going to bring this down. So I'm going to start to drag this down and I'm going to work with the Pro Longwear Concealer first just as a base. I honestly feel so weird and out of place, you know, when you like do something a certain way for so long and then you kind of just switch it up. It feels so weird. And I'm sorry guys, right now I'm kind of going to be focusing on my eye look and then eventually when I go onto my face, I'm going to start going more into like the chit chat. Um, telling you guys more about my day and about my year and what I'm excited about and all that stuff. But for now, I'm just focusing on this eye look. High key, very nervous. I don't know. I feel like lately I've been experimenting a lot more with makeup. And every time I do experiment, I'm so glad and I love the results so much. But I guess, I don't know, I'm just kind of nervous today. I'm always nervous when starting a new look. I'm just kind of motivating myself by thinking like, Adiel, your first cut crease, you were so proud of. Like that video I did of my um, True Brown cut crease tutorial, that was my first cut crease ever. Uh, my first attempt ever. So I'm like, you know what, if that turned out good, then this should turn out good. I don't know, I just never really experiment with black eyeshadow. It's really out of my comfort zone. And yeah, but it'll all work out in the end. I'm quickly just gonna go back in with my brows real quick, comb them out and redefine any places that need to be. Okay, again, I'm just gonna leave them and go back to them a bit later. Okay, so today I'm mainly going to be using the Lorac Pro 2 palette. It's a lot of cool tones. So first things first, I'm gonna be going in with Buff and this is just a yellow shade and I'm just gonna set all of the Pro Longwear Concealer with this and this is gonna make sure that our base is nice and smooth and that the colors will nicely blend on top and not crease up and just apply seamlessly. I'm being really risky today, trying a whole entire new look on my birthday when I'm going out. Oh, by the way, I probably should tell you guys where I'm going. So, I am being extra today with my outfit. I know I'm just going out to dinner, but I made it a little bit more toned down um, with the shoes. I'm not wearing heels or anything. And yeah, but I'm going to an authentic Mexican restaurant. I love Mexican food, Hispanic food, all of that food. I mentioned this so many times, but I am so freaking excited. I plan on getting some carne asada tacos. Ooh, I've been seeing pictures on Twitter. I'm just... I cannot wait. Sorry if my ear keeps flopping, you know can't win right now. I am just going with my parents, my little brother, and Vin. Okay, so first taking light brown. This is going to be the crease shadow. So I'm just going to work this into the crease and above the crease. And I'm just blending this out seamlessly. You always want your transition color to be nice and seamless so that all the other colors seamlessly blend into it and I'm kind of just being messy and messing with the shape. The reason I didn't use any tape is just because I wanted to freely have my shape and experiment since this is a very risky look and I can easily clean it up afterwards. I didn't want it to be too sharp with the tape. I didn't know if I would like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend, blend, blend. And this is just going to peek out of everything we create. Okay, so next, I'm going to start by packing cool gray and charcoal on my outer lid. 
and I'm going to start bringing in that darkness. So I just want to focus this on the lid into the crease just a little bit, but I don't want to bring it up too high because I don't want it to be too, too dark and I don't want it to look like I have a black eye. Just back and forth. And I'm also going to continue and keep going back in with my transition color just to blend the two together. I'm just going to keep on going little by little. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the shade Silver in the palette. And this is going to work as the base. So I'm just going to start popping that onto the lid. And I'm going to work that right until about halfway point. I'm trying my best to be as precise as possible with this. I'm now going to spray my brush with Fix Plus and I'm going to go in with this Maybelline shade called New York Silver and this is really going to make it all pop. I have this iridescent glitter liner that I'm going to put on top later that matches better with my dress. But now we're going to go back in with those two gray colors. Start making back and forth motions blending the two colors together and we're going to start to slowly darken everything up i'm going to go in with black on this really tiny brush and wherever so slightly going to line the lash line with this and slowly bringing it up and every time oh sorry every time i bring it up i'm going to blend because Black is super out of my comfort zone for this sole reason. It is very hard to blend and work with. And I'm going to start shifting my brush up to blend upwards into the transition color. So again, taking the black and working this upwards. Okay, starting to come a bit together looking like what I wanted so that's plus so to keep blending that out I'm going to use that gray color it's gonna make things a lot easier to blend I'm gonna go in with light brown and work this back into the crease to blend everything together nice and seamlessly and I'm gonna start kind of dragging the darkness up to fade more and more. So I'm doing this with the gray first, popping that directly into the crease and blending upward. I want that gradient effect for sure. So now I'm gonna be a little risky and dip this brush into the black because this will help blend out. Again, I'm kind of just winging this out just to map it out again I could clean it up whenever I would like so taking the black again if you need to blend it out more go in with the gray instead it will certainly help things so I'm going to keep on going and deepening this up it's all about little by little when it comes to this stuff and I'm going to go in with a nice blending brush and do circular motions. Just working to smoke this more and more, little by little, and I think, I think I've gotten it the way I like it. So I'm gonna go in with the transition shade one last time to blend everything together. And I'm gonna go back in with the silver and bring that back to life. See that? We want it like bam in your face. So just popping that in there as best as possible. I'm going to clean that up in a little bit. But I'm going to go in with this LA Colors glitter liner and place that there to add some iridescence to match my dress. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry. I know it looks super messy. We're just gonna leave it for now go back to it because it's a little bit too wet to work with and I don't want to create an even bigger mess by trying to blend it out when it's a little wet so we're gonna move on to the rest of the face now 
you know, we got primed. So I'm gonna go straight into foundation. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever HD foundation today. And I'm gonna put this onto my beauty blender, dotting this around my face and blending it in. I'm actually gonna zoom you guys out a little bit. Still have no idea about that wing. Okay, we're getting there, so I'm gonna go back in now with my eyes and blend. Just gonna go back and forth to blend the two colors together on the lid. And now that that looks good, I'm gonna work to clean this up, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm just going to kind of blend out and have it fade instead of being that crisp, annoying line. Get out of there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and try my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer for the first time. And I'm going to conceal and highlight. And I'm also going to start shaping my eyeshadow. So I'm going to bring it out like that. And start to blend this out. Wow, that has really nice coverage. I think I'm going to end up doing a wing just to define a little bit more. I'm also gonna take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer just to highlight the under eyes. So, brighten everything up. I'm also gonna place this on my nose, my chin, and my forehead. I'm gonna go around my eyebrows with foundation in a little bit. And actually now I'm gonna start baking under my eyes just because I don't want this to move. Also cleaning up the edges with that bake. And with the remainder, am I gonna set my face yet? I don't think so. I'm gonna go around in a few more spots that need foundation before I set. And now go in with the rest and set my face. Okay, so now moving on before I try a little bit of liner. Actually, I'm not even gonna attempt the liner yet until after I apply my falsies. Yeah, we're gonna do that, but I'm just gonna blend everything out and I'm also going to take Snow for my inner corner highlight and pop that in there. I also kind of want to pop a little bit of that onto the silver because it makes it pop more. I'm going to start to drag a little bit of black on my lower lash line. I'm also going to put some white liner in the waterline. And I'm going to start to line my upper lash line without winging it out just for now. Now I'm going to see how these are going to look. These are our Dell Double Ups in 207. They look bomb. I've never worn them, but they look absolutely perfect for this look. Oh yes, definitely. And I'm definitely going to do a wing. So I'm going to do that off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so the wings are on and definitely sharp. And I'm just going to touch up before the falsies. Finish this up. I'm also going to be dragging this black underneath my lower lash line. Just to get that really, you know, cat eye effect. And I'm going to drag silver and meet it halfway. I'm also going to just re-accentuate the brow bone a bit. I want to place snow right up there. Yes, okay, this is definitely coming together how I pictured it. I'm so excited. So now I'm going to pop on the falsies and while I wait for them to dry, I'm going to coat my lashes with mascara. I'm also going to take my Happy Birthday set Marc Jacobs highliner and line 
the tight line. Okay, so finally, I don't have to concentrate as much. So, let's start chatting. Okay, so, the big 18 legal adult. Actually kind of scary. I have concealer in my hair. Okay. It's just kind of surreal. I just remember all my relatives, like, telling me 18's gonna come so fast, 18's gonna come so fast. I never really believed it, but now that I'm here, I definitely do. By the way, I'm just taking some iridescent glitter liner and popping that on the tear duct and just a little bit on top of the silver just for it to show through a little bit because my dress does have a lot of iridescent okay so how was it being 17 honestly I don't know when I look back at 2016 I can't really say it was a bad or a good year it was kind of just a year like a lot happens good and bad um i definitely learned a lot being 17 was cool because i got my license uh, i've been driving for a year and now it's at the point where it's like oh i gotta drive somewhere like trust me you don't think that day will come but you start getting tired of it hold on guys i need to trim my lashes real quick um what else is there to say as far as my day today went it went pretty good your girl needs to start hurrying it up I'm really excited and happy with how my makeup turned out i love when this happens i'm just gonna um move on to my lower lashes combine everything together okay let's move on to the rest of the face so today i'm taking the shade and light palette alone on its own Whew, i'm loving my eyes today really excited i feel like every time i go on the limb it's pretty good so i'm just gonna make sure my face is all good and i'm also gonna fix up my brows real quick so i'm gonna start to warm up my face bring some life finish off the look so starting with my forehead i'm taking the middle shade by the way also bringing some warmth some life into my nose get the jawline let's start contouring so this is my fifth birthday that i spent with vin um a little story time four years ago um we were dating for two months and we were hanging out with all our friends and we stayed till midnight this was on december 22nd so we stayed till midnight when the clock struck 12 for my birthday and vin pulled me aside and said i love you for the first time so that was a really memorable moment, a really memorable bir mem me memorable birthday moment. Okay, yes, I really like this Cap on D palette. I'm just going to clean it up with the banana shade. I'm actually going to skip to my lip color right now. I just want to get a feel for it before I move on to blush. So I'm thinking Coco K lip kit by kylie with a little bit of dolce mixed in with it so i'm gonna go in with coco this is a really pretty pink color and let's get that dolce okay so i'm a little bit iffy about it right now hmm i really don't know yet but i am just gonna finish up my contour and for blush, I'm going to go in with this middle shade from my Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a nice neutral, kind of like bronzer shade, but just with a little bit of mauve. And that's going to be my blush shade. So I'm just going to layer that on top. And this just adds a little flush of color. And now I'm going to go in with my mary luminizer i feel like this is more on the like icier side it's not too gold you know and i'm gonna start to highlight i don't want the highlight i'm not using my benefit what's up because i didn't want the highlight to be super bam 
in the face shocker I know I mean I wanted it to pop of course but I didn't want extra extra considering my eyes are really extra today so I'm just gonna go back in with the face and do as much as I possibly can to perfect it before going in with the setting spray and now fix plus and now that I've completely drowned myself I'm gonna go back in with my highlight and make it glow bring my hair down and I'm gonna let myself dry up so I can finalize everything so now I'm quickly gonna put my hair up in a ponytail and I will be right back and we're gonna finalize everything off so that's it for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me and getting ready for my 18th birthday it's time to go out to dinner so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye everyone